Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's Gio, and today I wanted to talk about what to do if you buy a pair of skates and they don't fit you. I've seen a lot of content on YouTube about how to properly fit a pair of hockey skates, but really nothing about what to do if you've already bought them, already used them, and you find that they're slightly too big for you. For a lot of people, skates are incredibly expensive and they don't just have the luxury of being able to spend the money to replace them with a smaller size, so, I wanted to give some advice on what to do if you do find yourself in that situation. Everything I'm about to say is tried and tested. I recently bought myself two pairs of hockey skates, a pair of ice skates and a pair of inlines and after about a week or so of use I realised they are just slightly too big and I did end up replacing them with smaller sizes but I tried a bunch of things first uh, which made it significantly better and I wanted to share them with you. So first thing I wanted to say is if you are buying a pair of hockey skates, you probably should look online just about advice for sizing. But for people who are in the UK like me, please don't take the size guides as gospel that people from the US and Canada say because their foot sizing is different in that country. So a lot of time you'll see you should be wearing skates that are one and a half to two sizes smaller or one to one and a half sizes smaller. That is true by US and Canadian foot sizing, but not what we have in the UK. In the UK, it's different. Anyway, I generally wear a UK 7 to 7.5, which is a US men's 8 to 8.5 or a US women's 9.5 to 10. So I bought size 7 hockey skates, which should have fit me. That was the perfect thing. However, I found that they were slightly too big for me, especially as I have very, very narrow feet um, and there was just a bit too much space and not enough support, especially in the ankle. Now, the first thing that is worth trying is just wearing thicker socks or layering up socks. I've seen some advice online say don't layer up socks because it can cause you blisters or pain. Personally, I didn't find that that was an issue for me when I tried it, but I did wear particularly thick socks on top as well. So for me, I wore like very thick, I think these are technically cycling socks, but they're very long and I could roll them down so I really bunched them up around the ankles and these definitely helped. So first and foremost, I'd recommend that. Secondly, I'd definitely recommend the insole route. There are two different ways that you can do this. The first one that I tried is uh, something that you can just do basically immediately at home and that is go and grab another pair of your shoes or an old pair of shoes and take the insoles out. So these are just from an old pair of trainers that I don't wear anymore. I took these insoles out and I just put them in my skates and it helped remove some of the space that was inside the skate as well as allow my foot to sit a lot more correctly. That was really good. However, I did also buy these. These are the Superfeet Comfort Hockey insoles. You see a lot of people recommend these online. There are two different types of hockey insoles that you can get from Superfeet. There's the Comfort and there's the Carbon. The Carbon are for performance, not necessarily to make it more comfortable. You decide which is right for you, but I went with the Comfort. These arrived very recently and I found that they work really well for me. They work by raising both the arches and the heels so that there is less volume inside the boot itself and it really helps lodge your heel into the back because that's one of the big problems that people have with skates that are too big for them is that you can't lodge the foot into the back of the skate and having that move around is basically a recipe for disaster. I did do an experiment and try doubling up insoles in my skates before these arrived, that is. Uh, I found that to be incredibly painful so I wouldn't recommend that. You can try it I suppose but I did not like it. The third thing is use wax laces. So these are my inlines and I use wax laces on these. Wax laces are great because they help lock in. Once you've tightened them and pulled them, they're not gonna slip back. They're gonna lock in a lot better and you'll find you can get a much tighter tie of the laces on your skate by using them. Number four is there's a couple of lacing tricks that you can use to make sure you're lacing extra tight. The first one is on the fourth eyelid, lace inside out rather than outside in as that really helps to lock your ankle in. And the second one is when you lace the very top lace, you can thread the laces through each other so that you are locking your ankle in even further there. I found that these ones actually help a significant amount. There is so much improvement that you can have just by lacing your skates correctly. Some people do like their skates loose, but those typically aren't people wearing skates that are too big for them. And lastly, there's a world of good that you can do for yourself by just learning to skate in the skates properly. Work on ankle strengthening and also work on focusing on your edges when you are skating as well, because if you can just go a bit slower, but focus on the fact that you shouldn't be leaning on your inside edge, you will be able to get yourself into much better habits 
even if you end up down the line replacing your skates with some smaller sizes, whatever it may be, good habits are always worth making very early on. And that's definitely gonna help if you are wearing skates that are just slightly too big for you. Overall, those are my main tips for dealing with skates that are just slightly too big for you. As I say, I did end up replacing mine with a size down. A lot of people are gonna recommend that you do that. And ultimately that is always going to be the best fix, but not everybody has the means to do that as skates can be very expensive. And especially once you've already used them and you can't send them back anymore, sometimes you've just got to make do with what you have. And it's incredibly unhelpful to have someone say, we'll just replace them. Like, yeah, thanks. Let me just find hundreds of dollars. So I hope this video helped some of you guys out. It definitely helped me in the time that I was using the skates that are slightly too big for me. I was very uh, lucky that I could um, replace the ones that I did have, but I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any more tips for people down below, because I really think that there's a scarcity of this kind of information online right now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.